Hello to my new video about Dalat. Dalat is a city with rich history and it has long been known as a retreat for the French colonial rulers who sought to escape the heat of the lowlands. Today, the city is a vibrant blend of Vietnamese and French culture with charming architecture, beautiful gardens and a laid-back atmosphere. And today I will tell you about the best hotel that you should definitely choose for your next trip to Dalat, an Italian restaurant that you won't want to miss and we'll take a stroll through the beautiful streets and pick strawberries in one of the city's grand houses. Subscribe if you enjoy traveling and don't miss out on my new videos. One of the most iconic landmarks in Dalat is the Crazy House, a whimsical and quirky building that looks like something straight out of a fairy tale and resembles a giant tree with intertwined branches, roots covered in cobwebs, overgrown with mushrooms and inhabited by animals. Designed by the Vietnamese architect Dan Viet Nha, the crazy house is a maze-like structure that is part hotel, part art gallery and part fantasy playground. In the courtyard of the crazy house, it's easy to get lost despite its relatively small size. There are numerous hidden stairs, passages, mazes and incredible amount of cobwebs, of course made of concrete. Huge mushrooms and extraordinary plants grow everywhere. The stairs are so narrow and steep that it's impossible for two people to pass each other. The most tourists gather to wander around the yard, explore the stairs and passages and climb to the very top from where there is a great view of the whole city. The stairs themselves are also unusual, shaped like a giraffe, scattered with stones and woven with roots. There is also a sea hole inside the house where everything is done in shades of blue. On the floor there is a mosaic shark and on the walls there are drawings of marine creatures. You will also see sculptures of an octopus, a dolphin, seahorse, various seashells and seaweed. Tourist attention in this hall is drawn to a huge green fish with teeth. In its mouth there was a bar with drinks and snacks. Above the sea hall is a museum where you can learn about all the stages of creating the crazy house. Here there are projects and drawings of of objects that have already been built or are still planned. There are also photos of people involved in creating this landmark. Another must-visit attraction in Dalat is the Ling Phuoc Pagoda, which is located 8 kilometers from Dalat, and there are numerous ways to get here from the city, and now I will tell you about one of them. For those interested in history, the Dalat railway station is a fascinating spot to visit. Built in the 1930s, the station was once a hub for transporting goods and passengers between Dalat and other cities in Vietnam. Today, it is a charming relic of a bygone era with its vintage locomotives, steam engines and antique furniture. It's better to arrive at the station early to have time to see everything and also visit the cafe located on the premises. I recommend trying the hot cocoa, which was the best cocoa I've ever had in my life. It's made with cashew milk and has pieces of nuts in it. Yummy! The cost of transportation is 150,000 dong for a round trip ticket and the ride lasts for 1.5 hours, 30 minutes for the train ride in one direction and 30 minutes for exploring the pagoda. This is indeed very little time, so if you decide to take a train trip, I strongly recommend buying a one-way ticket only and you can easily return at any convenient time by bus or taxi. The most amazing thing is that the Linfog Pagoda is completely, absolutely all walls, handrails, ceilings are made of mosaic, or more precisely from the remains of broken crockery, glass or porcelain. According to legends, the broken glass was collected from all over Vietnam. I don't know if it's true, but it looks cool. We enjoy looking at the patterns on the pieces of porcelain and also here is the heaviest bell in Vietnam.
and don't rush to leave the pagoda right away. Not far, just a 10 minute walk away, there is a cozy cafe called Exora Homestay and Coffee. I won't lie if I say that this cafe might be just as enjoyable as the pagoda. You can take a cable car ride to the Chuktom Temple, a Buddhist complex located high in the mountains. The complex includes several Buddhist temples, male and female monasteries and bell top. But that day cable car was closed and there was no information, but we didn't get upset. We enjoyed the beautiful views and went to a cafe where we tried a local dish, bankan, and once again enjoyed the beautiful views. Bankan is prepared in small clay cups filled with white mixture, which is made from soaked rice and turned into dough-like consistency. Quail eggs are cracked on top, the cups are covered with a lid and the pancakes are fried until crispy. They can also be filled with meat. Locals usually enjoy bankan for breakfast and the pancakes are picked up with chopsticks dipped in fish sauce with ground chili and eaten. We took a taxi to another station of the cable car which is located at the foot of Chuklam temple where we enjoy a pleasant stroll around its grounds. This temple offers many places for meditation, quiet secluded corners and flower alleys. It's a great place to relax from the heat and city hustle and enjoy nature and fresh air. Then we walked to the Tuyen Lam Lake where we decided to take a boat ride. In the evening a lot of people gathered to watch the sunset. It was incredibly beautiful. And our day didn't end there, we took a taxi to the city center and headed to the night market. How could we miss it? Now it's time to tell you about our hotel, which deserves a million stars. It just opened recently and everything there is very clean, cozy and the people are amazing. Just take a look at the magnificent view from the window of our bathroom. There is also access to the rooftop, which offers breathtaking views. Not far from our hotel, there is a statue of Golden Buddha. It stands at height of 24 meters, so it's visible from afar. The temple grounds are quite large and the whole area is clean and well maintained with plenty of greenery and beautiful flower beds. There aren't many people around the temple. The buildings here are colorful and vibrant, adorned with intricate carvings and gilded decoration that shimmer in the sunlight. On the other side of the hotel, there is an entertainment venue called Lumiere Dalat Light Garden. The first room is adorned with hundreds of white LED lights, while the next room is filled with sweets.
Now let's take a walk around Dalat and pick some strawberries in one of the Dalat greenhouses. The city is known for its vibrant streets art scene, with colorful murals, graffiti and installation adorning some of the city's streets. And of course, I will never cease to be amazed by these lively streets filled with motorcycles. I'm in awe every time. And for dinner we went to one of my favorite restaurants in the world. This place is definitely worth a visit. The Balinese pasta, fresh baguette with eggplant paste served as a compliment. Everything is so delicious that we went there several times during our three day stay in Dalat. I would also like to mention a cafe and if you aren't sure where to have breakfast be sure to visit it. They have a wide selection of delicious teas on their menu as well as breakfast options such as scrambled eggs. The place has a great atmosphere and you can enjoy the lively streets of the city while dining. Many tourists come to this wonderful city of Dalat on a one-day excursion to visit Pagoda and Crazy House, but I think it's worth spending here at least three days to fully enjoy the atmosphere of the city, leisurely stroll through the beautiful streets in the morning and observe how the locals start their day. That's all for me. In this video I've tried to not only show places that worth visiting but also provide some tips. And I sincerely hope that now you would like to visit this wonderful city and like this video and until we meet again, bye bye!